Hey folks, I'm out here again at Kenetrek headquarters here in Bozeman, Montana with Jim Windham, founder of Kenetrek Boots. And we were talking this winter about all these videos that would answer questions I get. Because I'm not the expert, Jim. I, I feel like, why am I answering sure. these questions? <laughs> we're dragging you into our world. <laughs> right. So we're out here and I've, I gave Jim the most common questions I get and hopefully these videos answer some. I mean, so, you know, once the, once the boot selection is, is complete, like mm -hmm. you're getting the right type of boot for, you know, the use, which obviously, like we've talked about in the past, that can vary considerably. Mm -hmm. Then the next question is, what is the proper size uh, for me, right? Right. And, and a key, an absolute key that I can't underscore enough is it has to be for you. It can't be your buddy. It can't be your guide. That all means nothing. It's yeah. like it has to be the best boot that works for you. Yeah. And so with the Kenetrek boots, you know, like our Mountain Extreme is one of our most popular boots, we have specifically sized this boot to match what's commonly known as the, the Brannock fitting device. You know, don't despair, we have some papers that we can send out as well that you basically stand on it and then take a measure. And all this is is a scale. Right, but it's a scale that relates back to, to proper well, sizing. Well, we of specifically your boot. made our boot to fit this scale, right? right? Because it, this is the only true standard that's out there, and footwear varies widely of different brands, different models. It's all over the right. board. You know, this this is capable of measuring your foot length, which mm -hmm. is critical. Yep. It also measures your arch length, which okay. is also important. That right. can come into play, and then it also measures the width. And so three different you know, parameters there. And another thing that I would caution as far as the fit of the boot is uh, not to make the boot too tight, right? Okay. Because especially if you're going for real cold weather, a lot of times people will say, um, well, I'll fit it, you know, with this light sock in the summer and then I'll go to a super heavy sock in the winter and use the same boot for the same purpose. And it's like, no, that doesn't, that doesn't yeah. really work that way the because if that. you cram a heavyweight sock in there, there are two things that happen to you. One is you reduce the circulation in your feet, yep. um, thereby making it much colder. Yep. And then you also crush the, the insulation. You know, whatever the insulation right. is, it's, it's compressible. And so if right. you, you know, it's dead air space at the end of the day that insulates. And so you crush that insulation down, thereby making the boot colder. Yep. So what conventional wisdom there is, is often incorrect. Yep. And you can go the other way as well. I mean, like you can, if you add too much extra space, then it's almost impossible, especially because that boot is going to give and conform to your foot. Mm -hmm. And so typically with a new boot is you want that boot to fit snugly, not ridiculously tight, but you want it to fit snug when it's new because it's going to relax over time and it actually breaks right to the shape of your foot. And everybody's foot is completely shaped yeah. differently. It's almost like fingerprints. Yeah. I mean, they're all completely different. Yeah. The arch, you know, if we talk about the arch, like you have really high arches and then you have some people have really flat feet. Mm -hmm. And so Kenetrek with their standard boot, we're really the only manufacturer to do this, that we put in a very high quality performance footbed stock in every single boot that we, that we sell. Hmm. And we have found this fits the, the widest variety of feet and gives them a really good arch support. And it, it has a sculpted heel pocket that keeps you centered and stabilized, mm -hmm. then a nice arch support, and then good padding. And so again, that's part of that, that problem with fatigue. You know, mm -hmm. if you're putting on that heavy, you know, heavy 10, 12 mile day and with heavy weight, right. especially, right? I mean, it's just your feet can feel like they've been beat by hammers, you yeah. know, the next day. <laughs> you can. So uh, anyway, that's, that's part of it. But then somebody who has a really flat foot, quite often, this arch might be too much, you okay. know, like their bone structure is very flat. So for that particular customer, we offer a, a much more accommodating, flatter, still a good quality insole, but it does not have the, the really high uh, forceful arch. Hmm. So then the final step um, in creating the recipe for the perfect fit for your boot uh, would be your sock selection. All of our socks, they look similar, but they're all different weights, you know, and so these are really good quality socks. They're blended, they have a good heel pocket, arch brace that holds them in place, but a variety of different thicknesses. And so the strategy there is the sock will perform the same, but it adjusts the amount of volume that is taken up around your foot. 
So one of my very favorites is the super heavy because again, I have a, a fairly narrow foot mm -hmm. uh, and I just absolutely love this Alaska sock. Somebody else, you know, they might end up with the Canada. This is basically the same sock, but the thickness slightly. is slightly different, yeah. right? And so you can really take this down to where your uh, the fit is just perfect. And then once that's all determined, I wear that same setup every day, yeah. every day. Doesn't yeah. matter what the weather's doing because it's a performance boot. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm, I'm, Jim is here to confirm that fit is absolutely critical. It is. It and is very important. Here's the way to do it. So thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, folks.